how are you today? Ah, I look like a hot mess. I'm... Uh, we had something happen today that just... We're beside ourselves. Ah, <laughs> uh, um... A couple of days ago, George's brakes went on his van, so he had to take it in and get it fixed. <clears throat> that cost, a, it cost us over $2,000 for that, that we don't have. <laughs> and then I went to go out to the freezer in the garage. Uh, we've got a detached garage on our house. Um, very run-down garage at that. <clears throat> but... Um, I went out there to the freezer to get food, meat for tonight. And the freezer was unplugged. It had uh, probably been unplugged for at least a week because there was no frost in it. It wasn't cold. The water had drained <clears throat> had drained out of it and the meat was thawed out and it was starting to smell. We had over a thousand dollars worth of meat in there. Um we think what happened was um when my daughter Tia came over, she we've got our, our gate is broken, so it came off completely. So she barricaded this, that space so that her dog couldn't get out of the yard. And what we think happened was when the yard guy, we, we hired new yard guys, and <clears throat> we think that they came and removed the fencing and everything that was there so that they could get into the backyard and pull the plug because the plug goes from the garage to the house and it goes right across the little walkway to get to the backyard. So we think that they pulled the plug out, did not realize what it was or that they even did it. And we had no idea. Because we used to go out to the freezer every few days. And so if that plug came out, we would know right away. And we'd catch it before anything happened. Um, but this time, I had gone to the store. I went to Costco. And I had bought a bunch of meat. <clears throat> so, And then we've got two little freezers downstairs. So I've been kind of digging out of there. Um... And I had stocked up our fridge freezer with a bunch of meat. So I've been taking stuff out of there and we had no need to go out to the freezer out in the garage. So <clears throat> um, I went out there today and found the catastrophe. So I'm devastated. George is kind of going... What are we going to do? Uh, so, yeah. Um, I cried a little bit. <laughs> uh, wanted to curl up in a ball and just go back to bed. Um, it's really nobody's fault. It just, it's something that happened. And uh, so I told George, I said, that's it. I says... I want that freezer gone. It's an older freezer. I want to get a stand-up freezer and put it down in the basement. Um, even though I don't go in the basement much. <laughs> uh, at least it's in the house and we don't have to worry about it. And yeah, so I have to start saving up money for that. Not like I don't have enough things to worry about. This year seems like it's a cluster F. Um, I, yeah, or maybe it's just this month. I don't know. But yeah, 
So that happened. And being on the carnivore way of eating, that's all we eat now is meat. So we just lost our whole, our whole uh, supply of meat for our diet. <sighs> anyway, <clears throat> we will get over it. We will get past it. We will conquer. Um, so yeah, we have to kind of scramble and figure out what to do now. So that was our morning. <laughs> How was your morning? <laughs> um, so another thing that happened was, you know, that package that I had that was missing from Hirschner's and that I got and I received my momenti so I was like yay I can finish my project now I can finish my tutorial and I was going to use that tutorial at the end of the month for my 12 project collab that I'm doing with genetic Miss Hootie Hooten and his crafts wah, wah, wah. I don't know what I was thinking. I started doing the second panel to this thing and I don't know why I only got one cake. That's all I've got left. That's how much of the cake I or of the project I did. That's the width I need. So back onto the Hirschner's website, I went and bought another couple of cakes of this. It's not going to come in time. It's not going to come in time. So I am now scrambling to figure out what to do in the next week for the collab. I have to come up with a tutorial of some kind. Oh, I tell you guys, it just doesn't freaking end. So, yeah, so that's... <laughs> <clears throat> uh, yeah, so I don't know what to do now. So I'm going to try and figure something out, something, something small, maybe a hat tutorial or something. I don't know. But Jeanette's put out two tutorials in the last week. Just boom, boom, like they're smaller tutorials, but still, I haven't been able to put a tutorial out in freaking months. Ah, uh, so anyway, I'm going to try really hard not to go into that dark space that I just finished crawling out of. <laughs> uh, okay, <coughs> so I got a new little machine. Uh, I just got it in the mail today and there's a reason why I got this. It's the 22 needle Centro. It's the little one. I haven't taken it out of the box yet. That's what it looks like. Um, I found a couple of tutorials that I want to try. Uh, one of which is a towel, a tea towel holder that looks really cute. And I thought, Hey, if I can do these, I can just bang out a whole bunch of them and I can sell them at Christmas time at our craft fair. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> You know, one of those little $5 items or whatever. Uh, also, there is Christmas wreaths that I want to try. 
and this size um, Centro is perfect for bows, for making bows. So I thought, okay, I've been wanting one of these little guys for a while. And I finally decided to bite the bullet and do it when I saw that other tutorial. Uh, there's a few other things that you can make on this. Like you can make amigurumi, you can make tons of different things. I But I'm not into doing that kind of stuff. But there is a few things that I wanted to try. This Centro is very inexpensive. Um, I'm not going to put a link down below for it because I'm in Canada and um, I would pro I would just end up having a Canadian link and that's not going to be any good to those of you that are in the States. But just look up the 22 Needle Centro um, in your Amazon and it will come up. So, so yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that. When I get one done, I will show it to you guys. Um, and I will put a link. Mm, excuse me. Didn't get much sleep last night. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, so uh, I will show it to you guys when I'm finished it. And I will link that tutorial um, in the description box when I'm finished it. So there's that. Um, also, I have way too many whips right now. I don't know what happened. When, when this tutorial kind of went to pot, um, I just, my brain just went Bzzz, and I started doing, I had starditis in a big way. I started a campfire cardigan, the one that um, I was doing with the yarn that I got from Sandy Duda, left is right crochet, with the <clears throat> hemp, no, not hemp flax in it the little sticks <laughs> uh so i've been doing that but it's not going as quickly as i remember when i i did them before so i'm kind of going mm. so i've got it sitting on the couch with me half done and um i just i've kind of moved on to something else so i made a scooty and uh, I started another cardigan. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I have my um, movie marquee sweater from last month sitting beside me as well. So, this book, and there goes my hook. Oh, where did it go? My hook is like flying gone. Um, the campfire or the, uh, movie marquee sweater. I can't find the hook that I was using. I was using my red and white hook. Can't find it anywhere. So there's that. <clears throat> now I just threw my other hook. I tell you guys, uh, I just don't even know. Anyway, uh, I, so I start, I took a page out of the movie marquee that I just did this month. And decided to try and do it in a cardigan. Except it's going to end up being sideways. So here it is. I never thought to put these colors together, but I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. So, but it's going to be this way when it's worn. So it's going to be... Oops. Eh. It's going to be like that. I think that's going to look really cute. Um, really nice. So uh, it's going to be different. So that's the elephants. The middle finger. <laughs> and I don't know what this is. <laughs> I. Okay, I know what it kind of looks like, but I'm just not even going to go there. Okay, anyway, uh, I think that this is going to, I just love the colors. It's a navy blue with a, um, 
I'll, I'll, here. Why don't I just tell you what yarn I used? Uh, okay, so it's the Bernat Premium. And I don't have my glasses. Okay, let's try that again. This is in navy. This is a four weight yarn, 180, nope, wrong, 329 meters, six, uh, 360 yards. You get this at Walmart or I'm sure you can, why well, I get it at Walmart, but, uh, so there's that. And then I have the, I love this yarn print, love this stuff. This color is Naturals Stripe. Uh, it's a four, medium four weight. 100% acrylic. 252 yards, 230 meters. And you get this at Hobby Lobby, <laughs> which we don't have here. So I was gifted this by my wonderful family. Um, so yeah, I, I really love these colors together because if you look this color here, it's almost like a gray blue and it just works in so nicely with this. So I'm really excited about this one. I'm going to have, I have to get my hook. It's going to drive me nuts if I don't, I'm going to forget it's there. Hold on. Okay. So, yeah, so I started that. Uh, I have, oh, ah, oh, I didn't, hang on. You guys remember, I was talking about this before. Um, I got a package from Angela at My Precious Yarnery. And she sent me uh, another um, cotton funnel cake, not this one, but she sent me one and it was to help me finish a project that I had been working on since the beginning of summer. <clears throat> and uh, I finished it. So here it is. Um, it's forget what I called them <laughs> but anyways it's just it's a summer vest and uh I really love this I I don't oops I don't have a picture of me in it but um it's so light and airy and you just can throw it on I mean of course I've got um, I've got um stuff on underneath it that doesn't go but see and it's so it's so comfortable right you can wear this in the summer spring summer fall plus in the winter time if you wanted to put a turtleneck sweater under it you could do that too if you wanted to just kind of dress up a turtleneck so i really love these oh um they're so easy to make it's just basically two squares or you can do it all in one piece I think I have a tutorial on one if I do I'll <clears throat> link it down below so I finally got this finished thank you Angela I'll put that over with my finished objects <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I, I was really happy to get that finished. It's, that's been sitting around for far too long. Oh, I got fibers in my eye. <laughs> Can I just go back to bed? Um, I'm just looking down at my book. I've got, I've got a bunch of stuff written down that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Oh, I, I have some new jewelry that I did. Uh, some new bracelets. Um, and stuff. I found these beads at Michael's that I absolutely fell in love with and I had to rush home. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Fibers. <coughs> um, 
I had to rush home and make bracelets right away. So I'm going to put up some pictures here of the bracelets that I did. Um, I Did I show you guys the other bracelets I did? I don't even know. I think I did. Maybe I didn't. Anyhow. <clears throat> uh, so I've been kind of doing a lot of stuff. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot more, <laughs> apparently. So, yeah, so if you're interested, let me know. <sighs> let me know. Um, the bracelets are $25. Uh, there's no clasps that you have to worry about. It's a uh, memory wire, so you just wrap it and done. <clears throat> so I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, oh, an update on my daughter Tia. Her baby bump is really happening now. Um, she's constantly sending me little clips of her and her baby bump. Um, uh, it's pretty exciting. And so they are in the process of planning out the gender reveal. Uh, it's not happening the way they wanted it to, but they're going to try and make do. they got to figure out where to do it because the type of gender reveal that they're doing is not, you can't just do it anywhere. Um, so, so yeah, we're trying to figure all that out. Uh, but she's, she's really, she's really like looking like she's a mommy now. Uh, I'm just so thrilled. I just can't wait. Every time I see a baby now or a little kid, I just, I'm ooing and awing. Oh, when I was at work, <clears throat> was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday I was at work and uh, I worked for Skip the Dishes and I drove to a house and there I put the, um, the food at the door. And I started backing out of the driveway and I turned my car to start going. And I just happened to look over because I always look over to see if they've already taken their order. And these two little kids, like little kids, were standing at the door waving at me saying, thank you. <laughs> I was like, you're welcome. Oh my God, it was so cute. Um, and... I, the another kid was standing on the balcony um or the deck uh waving at me because i brought mcdonald's and they were so excited and um they, <laughs> it was so cute sitting <clears throat> i i dropped the stuff off and i come out and the kids standing on the on the porch just waving and just like squealing and so happy and the mom says to me he watched the app and watched my car go all the way from the restaurant to the house and was so excited going, mommy, mommy, it's moving, it's moving. So I, I was just like, that kid really likes his McDonald's. <laughs> so yeah, I thought that was adorable. <laughs> but um, yeah, anyway. <laughs> Uh, speaking of food, um, diet update. Well, I shouldn't call it a diet. You know what? I hate the word diet. It's not a diet. It's a way of eating. Um, so I'm just going to refer to it as such from now on, I guess. Uh, uh, most of you already <clears throat> probably know or are just learning now that George and I have, <coughs> excuse me, George and I have decided to go with the carnivore way of eating where we just eat meat. We don't eat vegetables or fruit. We've cut out all of our carbs. Um, George has lost <clears throat> over 20 pounds. I've lost uh, 12, I think, 13. Um, I've, yeah, I'm off one of my my medications two of my medications now um so yeah anyway 
I'll tell you, I am a little shocked. Uh, I, I think I was telling you on one of my vlogs before that <clears throat> when we went to the Dragon Boat Festival, I ate a, something that had carbs in it and I got really sick the next day. Uh, I was in the hotel while George was at the festival and I was just trying to get through the day. <clears throat> Uh, you'd think I would have learned uh, by then. You know, <laughs> don't eat the carbs. <sighs> I keep testing myself, I guess. I don't know. But I, yesterday when I was at work, I stopped in at Tim Hortons to get my delivery and thought, oh, I'm just going to grab a coffee while I'm here. So I grabbed a coffee and the coffee came out to like $2.30 or something. And I was just in my head, I'm going, oh, I don't want to put that on my bank card. Like my fees are going to be stupid just for something like that. So I looked over and I went, oh, maybe I should just get a croissant. I have completely cut out breads and everything. <clears throat> and I got in my car and I started eating the croissant. Uh, <clears throat> before that, I, I'll talk about that in a minute. Anyways, I was suffering from a little bit of acid reflux. So in my mind, I'm sitting there going, oh, well, the bread will actually absorb the acid and it'll help me and To say the least, it did not help me. Within 15 minutes, I was doubled over in pain. My stomach was cramping so bad. Uh, I felt I was feeling nauseous. Um, I actually had to leave work early because I just couldn't do it. Uh, I came home and I was just like, oh, like that was just ridiculous the cramping it just felt like somebody kicked me in the stomach um <clears throat> later on when i digested it then i got the the cramps from the gas and the like all of that oh my good lord uh and i was like hmm what did we learn george is like hmm what did we learn? I'm like, I oh, know. <laughs> I was like, really? So I think it was a combination of things because I was so excited when I found some sugar-free creamer, like flavored creamer, hazelnut creamer at the store. And I thought, oh, yes, now I can have my hazelnut creamer again. So I brought it home and I used it in my coffee the one day the next day i was not feeling well at all and as you can tell <clears throat> i've got that <clears throat> thing again <clears throat> um yeah i it did not fare with me very well i felt nauseous so that was the first thing i've been craving fruit really bad i've i miss my fruit so I looked out in our backyard and our backyard is full of blackberry bushes right now. We're waiting until fall to get them all knocked out. Well, they've blossomed. And so I went out and I got a whole bowl of blackberries and ate the whole bowl. <sighs> so between the creamer, the blackberries, and the croissant, I was sick. I just thought, you know, what am I doing? What am I doing? It's, that's ridiculous. I know better, but I keep testing myself and I don't know why. So I have to really stop that. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> you know, I have to trust the process. And yeah, my sister and I are bantering back and forth. Um, she doesn't think that this is a healthy way of eating. Uh, I'm trying to tell her why I think it is a healthy way of eating. 
um, you know, you're, whenever you're on a different way of eating than what everybody else is, you're always going to get some backlash. <sighs> so it's hard to find support in your realm of people. I was really shocked, however, of how many of my Yarnabees out there are keto, carnivore, you know, like on something similar to that. I was shocked to hear of how many of you were actually on carnivore. I was thrilled because I was really nervous about talking about this because I thought, oh, I'm going to get a whole bunch of people, you know, slagging me about it. And I didn't. And I love you guys with all my heart for that. Thank you so much. Um, it's not easy when you're trying to go through this and you feel like everybody's against you. So they don't know, they don't understand what they don't know. Right. Um, so I, I would like to maybe put a group on my Facebook, uh, on Facebook together for my Yarnabees that are either keto or carnivore, a private group, um, so that we can talk in a safe place about what we're going through, recipes, stuff like that. Um, so it's not going to be an open, it's not going to be open to everybody. It's just going to be for those of you that are on these ways of eating, low carb ways of eating. Uh, and I want it to be a safe place, right? <clears throat> um, so tell me what you guys think about that. I want to hear your thoughts. If you're interested, let me know and I will get on that right away. Uh, so anyway, um, that's that. <laughs> okay, to close off this video, because it's already been a half an hour, I have two channels I would like to shout out. I've been having these channel, some channels popping up on my feed on YouTube. And there's a lot of new channels, you guys. Uh, but these two in particular, one popped up on my feed just randomly. The other one I learned from Heather the Crochet Witch. Uh, her channel is called Amethyst Craft Works, and I will put that link down below. Um, she's been on YouTube for one month, one month. She has 33 subscribers. I would like to get her up more. Um, she is adorable. She's adorable. Uh, she is Wiccan. Um, but she doesn't push that, right? She's, um, she, she's just, she's, I love her style of video. She's so easy to listen to. Um, and she's just, I just love her. She's just great. Uh, and I thank Heather for introducing her to me because she needs to be seen. She does some great work and I wanted to give her a shout out and hopefully you guys will go and give her some yarny love um, because I think she's going to, she's going to be going pretty far. Um, the next one that I wanted to talk about is Crochet Day by Day. Uh, she's been on YouTube for two weeks, two weeks. She's got 106 subscribers and again, adorable. She is a natural on YouTube. Like she, she gets in front of the camera and she's just so natural. Unlike a lot of us who struggled in the beginning. Um, and she, I think she said that she is newly back to crochet. Um, but she's, 
she's got a, a really unique style to her videos and it keeps you engaged. So uh, go over and check her out and give her some yarny love. Okay, guys, I think I've talked enough. So <laughs> every time I get on here, I'm just like, so I hope you guys don't mind. But I had a really rough morning and I just needed to talk because you guys are my friends. Can you see the difference in my arms? <laughs> I, the, can you tell that this is my window arm? I, I noticed it when I was watching one of my videos. I was like, look at the color difference in my arms. <laughs> I'm going to have to try and stick this one out somewhere and get it tanned because that looks ridiculous. <laughs> it's the one side of my face tanned more than the other. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, guys, um, I'm going to go. I thank you guys for joining me and thank you to all the new subscribers. I can't have gotten an up upflux. Is that the right word? Uh, an increase in new subscribers. I don't know where you guys are coming from, but thank you for being here. I, I really appreciate it. And I really hope that you stick around. Um, I've got lots of things going on in my channel. Uh, I've got lots of things that are coming to my channel. So yeah, I hope you stick around because I'm a bit of a nut <laughs> and all nuts need friends. Oh, that didn't sound right. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to go. <laughs> okay. I will talk to you guys later. I love you all. Okay. Bye. <laughs> all nuts need friends. What the hell? <laughs>